So my original intention for this video was to go on a rant about how one of the worst pieces of advice that anyone can give is that package managers actually make a difference in your distro choice. And the problem with my original video idea is that I've given this advice before. I have made many videos where I have claimed one of the things that you should pay attention to when choosing a distro is the package manager. And I was wrong. So this is something that I've changed my mind on. And as I've thought more about it, I've come to realize that what really matters isn't the package manager that you're using. Now, you can have your own favorite package manager. A lot of people like Pac-Man. A lot of people like Apt. You know, some people like DNF. You know, you you get the idea. Everyone has their thing that they prefer, but that doesn't mean that any one of them is better or worse than any of the others. And at the end of the day, even if one of them was better than any of the others, it doesn't matter because what truly matters is package availability. And this is something that I think that the whole package manager wars that has gone on for ever really kind of misses the point on. What people really care about when they choose a distro is can they get the applications that they need. It doesn't matter how you get them. Now it could matter if the package manager is like really really bad or something like that but that is very rare because the vast majority of distros are based on something else to have a very established very well maintained package manager. So you know, if it's based on Arch, you're, they're all going to be using Pac-Man. If it's based on Debian, everything's going to be using Apt. You get the idea, right? So, at the end of the day, this whole argument that I have used and many others have used about how when you choose a distro, your package manager is one of the premier choices that you need to make is really very wrong-headed because the biggest thing that people need to you know, research when they choose a new distro or when they choose a first distro is can they get the packages that they want from that distro, be it through any number of different means. So when you choose a different distro or a new distro, you want to make sure, hey, does it have the version of Caden Live that I need? Does it have the version of OBS that I need? You know, so on and so forth. And it does all come down to is the package there and is the version that I need there because some distros have much older software so that does play a role so if you don't mind older software or you can use it perfectly well you know something like Debian is not going to be a big problem if you need something more recent you'd use something like Arch or Fedora or something like that so at the end of the day package managers just do not matter whatsoever and the thing is is that this idea that we have that package managers are important distract us from the fact that when it comes to package availability Linux is pretty much universal these days and I know that is something that is not always true so you can make a case that the more esoteric packages are still packaged mainly for Ubuntu or Arch or whatever but when it comes to mainstream packages, it's no longer the case where you have to be able to use Ubuntu in order to use those things, or you have to use Arch in order to use those things, you know. If you want something, chances are you can get it on any distro you want, and the only thing that's going to change between distros is what version that distro supplies. And this is even more of a non-factor, really, now that flat packs and snaps and app images are here and have spread across Linux, you can get most of the mainstream stuff that you need from one of those three places. And those things are distro agnostic. You can get those things anywhere. So it makes package managers and even package availability a little less important overall. But I would still argue that the thing that most people should focus on is package availability version availability and things like that the thing is is if you choose a distro based on its package manager you are going to be stuck with that package manager for as long as you use the distro and it doesn't matter how good the package manager is if you don't have access to the software that you want then you're going to have some issues and the distro will not have been a good experience for you now as i just said some of that harshness of life could be solved by one of the more universal package managers being snaps flat packs or app images so those will be more universal there are some situations where you have to get a package from your 
distro. And that is when this whole idea that package managers really matter kind of falls apart because those packages have to be there in order for your package manager to even get to the point of getting them. So just a really quick video today. I wanted to t talk about this. And like I said, I've been thinking about it for a while. And, I, you know, I was ranting in my head as I you know normally do. And I was like, you know, that's a really bad piece of advice to give somebody, hey, choose this distro because it uses this package manager. It's better than all the other package managers. It doesn't really, it's not a good argument anymore. Uh, maybe at one point it was when, the, you know, there was a big difference between package managers. Like, you know, at, at one point, maybe apt was better than all the rest of them. Or at one point, Pac-Man was better than all the rest of them. Nowadays, they're pretty much even in terms of the things that they do, their speed and stuff like that. It's what they can have access to that really truly matters. So that is it for this video. If you have thoughts on this topic, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast, just like all of these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you everyone tomorrow. That's not how I usually end, end a video. How do I end it? I've forgotten how I end videos now. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.